we have a rectangle, and the length of the rectangle is represented by 4x plus 4. That's the distance from here to here. And then the width of the rectangle is represented by x plus 1. So if this is 4x plus 4, what's this side length? 4x four four plus, plus four. 4. If this side length is represented by x plus 1, then this side length is x plus 1. To find the perimeter of a shape, what would you do? Perimeter is equal to the total distance around the outside of the shape. So how would I calculate the perimeter of the shape? This, yep, plus this, plus this, plus this, adding everything. So write the expression right now. Okay, everyone write it. So I'm gonna take this side, 4x plus four, and I'm gonna add this, the x plus 1, and I'm going to add this, the 4x plus 4, and then I'm going to add this, the x plus 1. All we're doing is writing a simplified expression. I cannot solve this. I don't know what x is equal to. So all you're doing is simplifying this. You guys remember this? Add your like terms. If you see any terms that have the x with it, add them together. I have a 4x. If I have just an x, how many x's is that? One, thank you. I have a one x, I have another four x, and I have another one x, right? Group them together. How many x's do I have? Ten. Plus four, plus one. Yes, I have 10 x's. And then I have this. I have a four, I have a one, I have a four, and I have another one. How many of these do I have together? Just the numbers by itself. Four, ten. So our perimeter is equal to 10x plus 10. That's it. You can't solve it. You can only solve it if I tell you what x represents. What if I say to you, instead of writing x there, I'm going to tell you that x is equal to x is equal to 6 centimeters. So now I'm telling you, instead of putting an x there, you're going to replace it. You know what x is equal to. So we're going to take that and we're going to plug it in, right? What does 10x mean? Does it mean 10 plus x or does it mean 10 times x? So I'm going to do 10 times what? Good. Plus 10. Bed mass. Yep, 10 times 6. 60 plus 10 equals 70 centimeters. So now we can say the actual perimeter is equal to 70 centimeters only because I gave you that information. If I tell you what x is equal to, you can actually solve it. So again, if these are the dimensions, this was the length and this was the width, how would we find the area if we know that x is equal to 6? We're going to replace this with the number 6, right? And how do you calculate area of a rectangle? What do you do? Length. How, what's area of a rectangle? Length times width. So let's figure out what is the actual length? If x is equal to 6, how would I calculate the actual length? Thank you. 4 times 6 plus 4. We're doing area now. So 4 times 6? 24 plus 4? 28 centimeters. So the actual length is 28 centimeters. What's the actual width? Srija. It was 6, so x, which is 6, plus 1, equals 7 centimeters. Excellent. The actual width is 7 centimeters. Area is equal to length times width. So what am I multiplying together to get the actual area? 28 times 7, which is equal to what? 196 centimeters squared. Does that make sense?